Dave Waring here again with digitalbrainbase.com. And in today's video, we're going to show you why we've chosen the Menisform 890 Pro as our recommended PC for running local AI models with systems like OpenWebUI. At $720, it comes in several hundred dollars below comparable PCs for running these models. I've chosen this PC for myself. I just received it and set it up, and I'm going to show you uh, first how snappy it is on a 3 billion and 8 billion parameter model, and then I'm going to turn it over to Dave to walk you through all the specs and why we've chosen this as the best PC for running local AI models when you're considering the bang for your buck. Okay, guys, so here we are. I'm on my Menace form, and I've got my open web UI loaded up. Healthy dinner options for a family of four with a 3.2 billion parameter model from Llama. And you can see how snappy that is. Now let's do the 8 billion parameter model. Ask the same question. And there you go. You can see this is very snappy at the 8 billion parameter level uh, and down. And I haven't tried to go up from there yet, but I would say if it's this fast on the 8B, you can probably run uh, even larger models on this. And it's going about as fast as I can read there anyway. So I'd say that's very good performance and I'm super happy with it. And now Dave's going to walk you through all the components of the system and the specs and everything and tell you why we chose this as our recommended computer to run Open Web UI and any local AI model system on. Take it away, Dave. Hi, I'm David Jones from digitalbrainbase.com. In today's video, we're going to take a deep look into the Minutes Forum UM890 Pro and delve into what makes it a solid choice for AI projects. Now, before we get started, I should point out that buying an AI PC is much like buying a boat. You can spend an ungodly amount of money. And in some cases, you will not spend enough. And in other cases, you will overspend. So we've taken a serious look at this, at what's needed to accomplish most tasks and what people can use, will use, and don't really need to use and how they can compensate when that, that when you find something that isn't available and you still want to get there. So that's why we took a look at this PC. We found it to be excellent. And today we're going to go through the different things that we found to be perfect for AI projects. So let's get started. Now, for me, one of the first things with dealing with AI project or PC is how is it going to handle heat? I have several PCs that are in my office. And I can tell you from firsthand experience, the amount of heat these things generate is insane. But more than just personal comfort is that it will absolutely crush, break, and destroy your computer chips, your GPUs, your investment in a heartbeat. And if you don't even do that, the heat will cause the GPU to throttle itself and you'll get less performance than what you paid for. So heat and how it's officially handled inside the unit is probably one of the most critical things to be addressed throughout the entire building process. So for me, it is always the first thing I look at. Next is the CPU. I, I personally enjoy the Ryzen 9. It is fast, it is efficient, doesn't take a lot of power, handles the AI tasks very well, and it gets me to where I need to be without incurring a lot of the extras that come along with going with other routes. And this is where the Minus Forum really shines, especially when it couples with the other advancements that it has throughout the system. Next is memory and storage, especially if you're not dealing with an external or a GPU in general, which is a, a separate card, and you're dealing with an integrated GPU, your RAM is going to be very important. You're going to need it to be as fast as humanly possible. And this does fit that bill. You can get up to 96 gigabytes, pretty close to the fastest RAM available right now. This will, of course, be outdated within a week, I know, but right now, this is a really solid choice. As far as storage space goes, you can have two endpoints, um, up to eight terabytes in space. So this will handle if you want to store 20, 30, 40 models and be able to get to them very quickly. Um, you just lift the lid. There's nothing too terribly difficult to getting access to everything within the box to expand. If you are looking at the 96 gigabyte option though, I would tell you to, when you purchase a Minus Forum, get the zero that comes bare bones and then purchase the RAM separately. This way it's not a waste because you would end up with probably chips that you don't need to use. And this will just save you a little money and make it more effective. Now, I know I am on the outside on this one, and I do not even have a monitor hooked up to mine. I 
just use remote desktop and I'm happy. Uh, but for most people, having desktop interface is just the way it goes. Um, and in this case, you will be able to have multiple outputs um, to hook up multiple monitors and be able to even play games on it and be quite happy. One of the key things to future-proofing is the ability to connect external devices, of course, uh, to this and, and, and speed. So we have two 2.5 Ethernet cables that can connect to this. Uh, Wi-Fi is, I believe, at a six. It is using the six version. Um, Oculink is one of the key things for me, though, because it allows me to use an external GPU card if I decide I want to do, want to load larger, even larger models, and I want to load models faster. Um, and it'll even speed up the entire AI project itself by going this route. Now, when you combine all this together you can clearly go other routes. However, one of the things as a person who owns larger PCs is the electric bill. I can tell you firsthand experience, my wife blames me for the electric bill in this house. I have three different systems that run AIs um, and they can get quite hefty. This little machine I've been able to hook up and I'll be honest, I use for most of my AI needs on a day-to-day -day basis. It, you can set it up. You can do many different things with it. Um, the sweet spot for AI models, in my opinion, is around the 10B. You can fine tune them and this runs them amazingly well. And it will only get better as, like I said, future proofing. This thing is right there. Um, this is a light bulb running, basically, uh, maybe a little bit more. Whereas my other PCs, they are easily $60, $70 electric bills every month. So in, that, in this case, it wins hands down. It's also a very small little device that sits out of the, out, out of the way. And it, I don't even know it running. You can't hear it. You don't see it. I just network into it and I'm happy. Um, I can utilize uh, OpenWebUI anywhere in my house. Um, and I can open it up so I can access it to my phone no matter where I'm at. Now, as with most cost-effective options, there are trade-offs, of course. Uh, sometimes EV cars are a great example. Uh, you don't have to pay for gas, but you do have a very hefty price for that battery initially, and you have to pay for some electric costs, of course, for charging. In AI, if you want speed, and I mean really blazing speed, you will end up buying a video card that will outdo your mortgage payment very easily. Um, you can buy a very nice car on a really well-built AI PC. So the goal isn't to be there. The goal is to understand the needs, understand what AI projects really entail, and then find the PC that handles that project perfectly. Now, as the points we've all covered, in my opinion, the Minisforum UM890 Pro is an AI workhorse because it can handle 95% of my daily AI tasks very easily. And when you combine this with a project such as OpenWebUI, what you can accomplish, it, it isn't a limit. It is almost just, hey, what can you accomplish? You can start each day and you can utilize AI from multiple sources, multiple models. It's practically like having multiple employees or multiple opinions. And you could do anything you want to do with this little bitty machine. And it's expandable. As I pointed out in several different cases, it is future-proofed, if not just in the changing of technology, but also your changes, what your demands, because what your demands as you see now, as you learn AI, hopefully you learned about the UMA90 Pro um, and what a little AI workforce it is. It has a perfect balance between an investment into this and what you're gonna get out of it. Um, in every aspect, both as in the incurring costs of what it takes to run, balancing noise, heat, and being able to access it. It is flexible. You can expand it in multiple different directions as your needs change. And I personally use OpenWebUI with it every day, and there's really nothing I can't do with it. Okay, guys, so if you do decide to go with the Menace Forum, there's a trick to get the computer optimized to run OpenWebUI and Olama and utilize the full GPU resources. And so Dave's going to walk us through how to set all that up in the next video. Link in the description.